I'm only halfway through. This was a terrible idea. This was a bad idea. Okay. The biggest problem that I encounter with the people that I work with, there is a misalignment between values and behavior and they are unaware of it. What's terrible, people think that their behavior aligns with their values, but that belief blinds them to looking at how far out of line they are with their values. So what you can do, write down your values, filter them to the top five, order them one through five. Number one should be your most important value. Number five, your least important, but still in the top five. Set it aside. <sighs> Write out how you spend your time in the biggest chunks. For example, time with friends. <laughs> Categorize the chunks. Maybe hanging with friends is in the friends category or social category. You get the idea. Order these based on how much time you're spending on them, where the most time goes towards the top category. <sighs> Let's go. Finally, Put the list of top values next to the list of categories of behavior and ask yourself the question, is this the life of someone who's living in line with their values? Oh! If the answer to that question is you're out of line with your values, that's normal. Most people are. We call that the uh-oh moment. Come on, baby. Bonus. Self-help gurus usually talk about the aha moment, the eureka moment where someone discovers gold the light bulb goes off. In our work, we prefer the uh-oh moment. The normal person, when they see that their values and their behaviors are misaligned, says something like uh-oh, usually a lot less polite. Now, what do you do with your uh-oh moment? Oh God. You use the uh-oh moment to close the gap between values and behavior. Doing things this way means that you can slowly incrementally move your behaviors towards your top values. And what happens is amazing. People tend to do better at work, build habits that last, building relationships that are more meaningful, and they report more meaning overall in their life. You use it to then close the gap between values and behavior. My point is, you just have to know your values. Look at how you're spending your time. Make your time move towards your values. Don't eat an entire raw sweet potato. It's not worth it. I feel very sick and I think I'm gonna go throw up.